So today, I'm going to give you 10 foods to avoid if you have high blood pressure. Plus, stick around till the end for a bonus surprise. High blood pressure is the leading cause of heart disease, strokes, kidney disease, and congestive heart failure. In the U.S. alone, we have 120 million people with high blood pressure. And worldwide, uh, that number skyrockets to more than 1 billion. But what is even more alarming is that over half of these folks don't have their blood pressure under control. Why? Because they don't know which foods to avoid. Hello friends, I'm Dr. T, cardiologist and heart patient myself. Let's dive in. Number 10. Let's start with something that many of us love, bread. Who doesn't love a warm, fluffy slice fresh out of the oven? But here is the deal. Uh, not all bread is created equal, especially when it comes to the sodium content. Especially processed and prepackaged breads can be very high in salt, which can raise your blood pressure over time. You want to opt for whole grain breads. They are not only lower in salt, they also are packed with the nutrients, including fiber, good for your overall health. And let's make sure they don't have high fructose corn syrup. Let me just give you an example. Here's a bunch of uh, bagels. If you look at the labels, they uh, have each one has 550 milligrams of uh, sodium, and they have 61 grams of uh, carbs with only three grams of fiber. Not a great option. On the other hand, you have this option here, where we have, number one is whole grain, number two, if you look at the labels, they only has 135 milligrams of sodium per serving per slice, only 18 grams of carbs, and has uh, four grams of fiber. So the ratio is uh, excellent. Number nine, canned vegetables. Vegetables obviously are essential part of a healthy diet, but when it comes to canned varieties, you may be getting more sodium than you bargained for. Many canned vegetables are preserved in salty brines to extend their shelf life, uh, but significantly increase their sodium uh, content. If you're reaching for canned vegetables, look for the low sodium varieties or no salt added options. And Better yet, pick frozen or fresh vegetables, which are not really lower in sodium and retain more of their nutrients. Let's look at a can of beans, for instance. This can of beans has 480 milligrams of sodium, quite a bit of sodium. Uh, on the other hand, uh, here's another one, has only uh, 20 milligrams of sodium, almost no sodium. So we have to read the labels and pick the ones that are good for you. Number eight, frozen meals. In today's fast-paced world, frozen meals can be a lifesaver on busy days. However, convenience often comes at a cost. And in the case of frozen meals, that costs a lot of sodium. Folks who are vegetarians, they assume uh, that once they assume their lifestyle, that everything is healthy. And certainly, vegetarian diet, uh, or even a vegan diet, is much healthier than the standard American diet. If you have high blood pressure, you still must watch certain plant-based foods, because they could be loaded with uh, sodium. Let me give an example. Let's look at vegetarian chicken nuggets. Uh, uh, most of them uh, will have 300 milligrams of sodium per serving. What's a serving? Just four. Uh, nuggets and uh, uh, how many people will just have four? Most will have at least eight. So you're getting 600 milligrams of sodium right there. Let's look at plant-based corn dogs. One serving uh, could have 480 milligrams of sodium. And what's one serving? Just one. Again, who is going to eat just one corn dog? So to make healthier choices, you have to read labels and opt for meals who are low sodium content. And even those marked as healthy or low calorie options may pack a sodium punch. You want to aim in general for meals with 600 milligrams of sodium or less. And obviously consider making your own freezer friendly meals at home uh, using fresh ingredients. Number seven, pickles. Uh, you know, a lot of folks love pickles. They love uh, plain pickles. They have uh, sour pickles, they have hot pickles and pickles on their sandwiches. And 
First, there's some positive about pickles. Uh, uh, in general, they have no fats and very low calories, but you could hit a mother load of sodium if you're eating a lot of pickles. So you want to look at the labels carefully. Why? Because pickles along with other pickled foods, olives or kraut, are preserved in salty vinegar brines, which can significantly contribute to your daily sodium intake. And again, you want to read labels. Here is a can of pickles. In this particular one, we only have 150 milligrams per uh, serving. There are other varieties with a lot more uh, sodium content. Uh, number six, condiments. Condiments, uh, they seem harmless, but they often uh, hiding a ton of uh, sodium. Uh, from uh, ketchup to mayo to uh, mustard, these flavor boosters can really add up. Let's look at mayo. Mayo, one tablespoon of mayo could have 95 milligrams of sodium and also 11 grams of fat, just one tablespoon. And using our mayo will contribute to overweight or obesity, which of course will exacerbate your high blood pressure. Let's look at ketchup. One tablespoon of ketchup, it could have 196 milligrams of uh, sodium. And if you have two tablespoons, obviously you almost got 400 milligrams of sodium without even realizing. And let's look at a hot uh, sauce. One teaspoon, not a tablespoon, one teaspoon of hot sauce could have 190 milligrams of sodium. And when was the last time that you only used one little teaspoon of hot sauce? Most people think the hot sauces are healthy because they don't have a lot of calories, what is in fact true. But if you have high blood pressure, you want to watch your sodium content. Let's look at mustard. Mustard in general is actually not so bad. One teaspoon of mustard could contain 50-55 milligrams of uh, sodium. To reduce your sodium intake, you want to uh, use alternatives like red pepper flakes, uh, hummus or avocado spreads, for instance, and make sure you look at the labels. And uh, let me give you an example. Here's a soy sauce who has 900 milligrams per tablespoon, 900 milligrams. Here's a, a chili pepper sauce who has really no sodium. So read the labels. Number five, canned soups. Comfort food with a catch. Uh, there is nothing quite a warm bowl of soup on a chilly day, but store-bought canned soups can be loaded with uh, salt. To enjoy soups without the sodium overload, you want to consider making your own homemade soups using fresh ingredients or look for reduced sodium options at the store. Don't be fooled by veggie options that often contain some of the highest levels of sodium. Number four, daily meats. Cured and deli meats, uh, ham, uh, bacon, salami, sausage, and uh, uh, smoked salmon are delicious, no doubt, but they also notorious for their high salt uh, content. During the curing process, they add a lot of salt. Let's look at the uh, deli turkey as being healthy. We have up to 600 milligrams of sodium in just one serving. What's one serving of a uh, deli turkey? It's just two ounces. So. If you're making a sandwich, you're going to use double that at least. You want to opt for lower sodium protein sources like fresh poultry, fish and legumes whenever uh, possible to avoid an unnecessary sodium load. And keep in mind that the longer the shelf life of a food, the shorter your life. Number three, alcohol. I'm all for raising a glass to celebrate. Here's a bottle of Madeira wine that was given to me by a friend from 1860. I'm all for uh, raising a, a glass to celebrate, but excessive alcohol consumption can have serious and implications for your blood pressure. Alcohol can raise your blood pressure by stimulating the sympathetic nervous system and increasing your cortisol levels. And the heavy drinkers, uh, women who drink more than three drinks a day, and men who drink more than four drinks a day, if they cut down significantly on their alcohol intake, they can lower the systolic blood pressure, the upper number, by six millimeters of mercury, the lower number, the diastolic, by four millimeters of mercury. What is a drink? 12 ounces of beer, 
five ounces of wine, one and a half ounces of 80 proof hard liquor, gin, or whiskey. Number two, carbs, uh, sugars. Simple carbs, sweet temptation, the sugary sweetened beverage, the sodas, the fruit juices, the orange juice, the apple juices, and sweetened teas are not only high in calories, but also lack essential nutrients. That's what we call the empty calories. Uh, if you consume them regularly, they would lead to weight gain, which is a risk factor for high blood pressure. In addition, the simple sugars uh, can contribute to insulin resistance and metabolic syndrome, uh, both of which are associated with high blood pressure. And regarding the white stuff, white bread, white pasta, white rice, you want to replace the white bread with uh, whole grain breads, the white pasta with whole pasta, and the white rice with brown uh, rice. And let me give you an example here. Here's is a penny pasta, but is uh, whole grains. And if you look at the ingredients, it has no uh, sodium and has 39 grams of carbs and 7 grams of fiber. So the ratio of total fibers in grams is less than 10. Excellent choice. Here's an example, Routini, uh, made from red lentils. Again, has no sodium. The total carbs is only 34 grams, but dietary fiber is 6. Uh, the ratio of total carbs in grams divided by total fiber in grams is 5 point something. Anything less than 10 is good, less than 5 is excellent. Excellent uh, choice. And number one, processed foods. Processed foods and restaurant foods are responsible for 70% or more of your salt intake. It's not the salt shaker, it's not the salt you add when you're preparing the food at home. It's the processed foods. Uh, from fast food burgers to packaged snacks, many convenience uh, foods are loaded with uh, salt to enhance flavor and extend the shelf life. Let's uh, dig in a little bit. Let's look at bacon. So, who doesn't love bacon? But three slices of bacon can be almost 300 milligrams of sodium and almost 5 grams of fat. And a lot of people will eat more than uh, just three slices of bacon. Look at hot dogs. Even a beef hot dog has as much as 790 milligrams of sodium. So it's something that you want to avoid if you have high blood pressure. And remember, uh, the American Heart Association recommends sodium intake less than 1500 milligrams a day. Uh, other organizations, 2300 milligrams a day. But even noodles, so a lot of people love noodles, but uh, processed noodles are not only are high in fat, but innocent looking little seasoning packet has over 1500 milligrams of sodium in most cases. So processed foods are something you want to avoid if you have high blood pressure. And to reduce your sodium intake uh, when eating out, you wanna choose restaurants that offer lower sodium options. You wanna skip the soy sauce and you get the dressing on the side or ask for dishes to be uh, prepared without added salt. If it comes in a package, it is processed. And not only chips, but uh, cookies, uh, breakfast cereals, uh, or other packaged snacks are the worst offenders. And if you want to learn more about decreasing salt in your diet, watch this video, Top 10 Tips to Lower Salt in Your Diet. I'll put a link above and on the description below. And here's the bonus round. Let's think like a doctor. Let's ask two questions. Is salt restriction important for everybody? No, we do not have an easily available test to see who is salt sensitive or not. While cutting back on salt can be very helpful for some people, it's not necessary for everybody. But if you are one of the 50% of people with high blood pressure who are salt sensitive, restricting sodium intake can have a big impact on your uh, blood pressure levels. And I can tell you, personally, I'm highly salt sensitive. Whenever I go out to one of my favorite restaurants uh, in town, it's guaranteed the next morning I add two pounds to my weight and my blood pressure is a little bit up. Question number two, is sodium the only mineral affecting high blood pressure? No, sodium is only one of the part of the equation. Eating foods rich in potassium has a big impact on lowering your blood pressure as well. Uh, to learn more about potassium-rich foods, watch this video, Top 10 Potassium 
which puts the lower blood pressure. I'll put a link above and on the description below. And remember, your health, your most precious asset, take control. See you next video.